Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to talk about getting funded in five minutes. So somebody kind of challenged me and said, John, can you just explain how to get funded? Uh, like simply because it's so there's so much craziness out on the Internet about this subject. And I think it's really hard to navigate. And I think for me, when I first started doing it 100 million dollars ago, uh, it was very confusing. But now that I've seen a hundred million dollars in funding come through our office. Uh, I've had this unique perspective to really understand what this looks like. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna attempt to do it in five minutes. And yeah, I took up a little bit of time here in the beginning. Um, this is Coffee Rants. Uh, welcome to Naked Development's YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. We don't monetize or try to make money on this. This is just uh, me just having fun, drinking coffee with you. So I'm gonna explain getting funded now in four minutes, right? Okay, so uh, I'm only gonna explain the first four rounds because that's the one where I think people are misunderstanding. If you get past four rounds of funding, you probably don't need me anymore. Uh, so you probably got it figured out. So I'm gonna go through uh, how to get funded in five minutes. Now, that doesn't mean I can get you funded in five minutes, although you possibly could, but let's just uh, explain it. So first round. We call this pre-seed. This means I don't have any money, I don't have a concept. I'm gonna do this by explaining who, what, how, and why in each round. This is very, very critical and people miss this whole point. So in pre-seed, the who you're after, no, it's not venture capital, no, it's not Sequoia. You're wasting your time, folks. Uh, a lot of you are wasting your time. Who you wanna get in the first round, 90% of all funding in first rounds come from somebody you know and love, or second guess, a credit card. Uh, <laughs> this is basically you just trying to get enough money for research. This is uh, what we do uh, for a lot of people, um, and typically I'm gonna say $20,000 can kinda get you through this round. Uh, it's not a ton, you can earn it on your, your own if you have a savings, Whatever you have to do, you want to get something done so that you can show somebody that you've done something. That's all you're trying to do in pre-seed. What value do you bring in this round? Uh, just you, really, you and a dream. You don't have a lot to give, folks. Uh, you just need to sell your butt off. And you say, well, I can't sell. Well, that's one of the things you have to do as a founder. So if you can't sell, uh, maybe you need to learn how because that's part of your role as a founder. So. Uh, just go to somebody you know and love, sell them the dream. You want to get $20,000 roughly. And all you're trying to accomplish in this round is do research and build a concept. That's all you're trying to do. Uh, we do it in about 30 days for people. Um, I see people go through this process all the time. I've seen people come out of this round on multiple, many, many occasions raise $502 million. Seen it a bunch of times. Uh, so it's very, very possible. I think that's a big round. I don't think you need that. So let's go to the next round. That was pre-seed. Let's go to seed. The seed round is, um, is really where you're going to go to angels or friends and family. And often what you're trying to do is stack up a few people that will help fulfill this round because you're going to be raising somewhere around 250000 in this round. Uh, what value do you bring? Really just a concept. You're really selling yourself as a person and that you're in a con that you can do this and you're bringing a, a concept that you believe in and you're selling people on that concept. People have to believe in it. You don't have a lot to offer here other than yet you've done something. You've done some research. You believe you're filling a hole in the market. You're going to raise $250,000. Mostly this is going to be done by a safe, uh, which is go ask your lawyer. Okay. I'll do another video on that. Don't have enough time for that. So why? what are you trying to do in this round? You're trying to build a proof of concept. You're trying to build something that you can go into the market and prove that it this is doable. So that's, that's it. That's all you're trying to do. You're trying to build a proof of concept. So you want to spend your money wisely in this round. It's 250000 That sounds like a lot, but let me tell you. Uh, many people burn through it, and that's why we're going to go to the next round, which many people skip over. This is a very famous round in these days called the bridge round. We actually don't call it a bridge round. We just call it a bridge. I don't know why it's not called a round. Nowadays, I think this is going to become commonplace. 
This is my favorite round to get involved in, folks. As an investor, this is one of the things I love, is to come in and bridge you to success. Um, so who are you going after? Previous investor is a great source. Somebody you've met, somebody you know that already invested, somebody that, that really, or maybe somebody that didn't come in because they wanted to see that you could do something. So now you've got some proof because what value do you, br you bring? You've got you and data. So they can actually see the product, they can see that it's working, you've got data, you're getting some traction. Uh, how much are you gonna get? You're really gonna kind of go for whatever can get you to the next round. So it could be $100,000. You might bridge a couple times getting to the next round. Uh, this is just really kind of uh, a round to hold you over to the next stage. What are you trying to do? Just get to that place of either profitability or you're trying to get uh, positive cash flow. You're trying to just prove to get to that place that you all thought you were gonna be at, and maybe you're just up a little short, but you've got good progress. Um, I have a bunch of customers in this round right now, uh, in partners, I should say, that we are looking at and trying to bring them to the next stage because it's very exciting at this stage. It's very, you've got a lot to show for. Generally, you're bringing a lot of value in this round. People are very interested in getting involved. Okay, all right. Step four, Series A. This is the big one. A lot of people know about this. Um, series A. Um, used to be you just needed tr some traction. Now you've got to show some real traction now. Um, who are you going to go after? You're going to probably go after venture capital or an angel who's got some big dough. Uh, hanging around and angels are essentially one uh, a single person and they've got money and they want to invest it so what value are you bring you bring a lot of value here you're this is why you're not going to give up a lot in this round because you have a ton of value that you're bringing to the table and hopefully you've got some people competing for this round uh because you're proving a lot here. You've got traction, you've got profit, you've got cash flow, something, you're bringing some real value. You're probably going for a million to $5 million. Uh, it's gonna be a big round of funding and um, you're trying to do this so that you can scale. It's essentially that. You're trying to get to that next level because when you get to B, which is the next round, folks, um, yeah, you've kind of almost made it. Um, I would say in most cases, at least nowadays, I think in previous years, that wasn't necessarily true. I think nowadays, if you get this far, you've, you've, you're bringing a ton of value to the table and people are probably uh, really into what you're doing. So uh, anyways, I don't know if I made the time. We might have to edit this down so that I can get, get you to funding in five minutes. Uh, thank you for joining me with Coffee Rants. Uh, please like and subscribe. All right, guys, have a good day.